Most of you are familiar with and use the well-known web browsers like Google Chrome, Firefox, Microsoft Edge, and Opera. There are even a few of you still using Internet Explorer. There are a lot of lesser known internet browsers with unique features that may appeal to you as well. So today, I'll show you 10 alternative browsers that you may not know existed. Coming up next on Tech Gumbo. First up is the Maxthon browser, which was launched in 2002, making this one of the older browsers on the list. It has a notepad, password manager, adblock plus, and an RSS reader built in. It even has extensions. To save your eyes, it has a night mode, which is easy to access, located here at the top. If you select the icon in the far left corner, you'll be taken to a new screen. Here you have access to UU Mail, which is a virtual mailbox service, Passkeeper, which is a password manager, and in the MaxNote tab, you have your bookmarks and anything else that you've saved across the internet. Maxthon is available on Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, iOS, and even Windows Phone. Up next is Ice Dragon, which is a Firefox-based browser from the Komodo group. If you're using Firefox, you'll notice the layout is very similar. In fact, it has full compatibility with Firefox add-ons. This browser puts a high emphasis on security. It uses Komodo's secure DNS service by default, scans web pages for malware, and blocks websites known for spying and phishing scams. Ice Dragon is only available on Microsoft Windows PCs running Windows XP or newer. Midori, which means green in Japanese, is a lightweight browser that should be considered on lower powered systems for faster response times. The default search engine is DuckDuckGo, for those of you that are concerned about privacy. And in the upper left corner, there's a speed dial feature for quick access to your favorite sites. You can only get Midori for select Linux systems and on Windows. It even has a portable version that you can run from a USB stick. Next up is Epic Privacy Browser, which is based on Chromium source code and was initially launched in 2010. This privacy-centric browser has a lot of features that some of you will love. It has a free built-in VPN, always on private browsing, and it blocks many cookies and trackers while you're browsing, among other things. Epic's encrypted proxy, which is their VPN, is easy to use. In the upper right, just select the Epic proxy icon, select on, then just select a country. Since their primary focus is privacy, they don't offer a lot of extensions, but there are a few useful extensions here that you can add on. Epic Privacy Browser is currently available for systems running Windows 7 or newer, and on Mac OS X. Now for an experimental browser, Opera Neon, released in 2017, is the coolest looking browser I've ever seen. It sports a unique user interface, along with some interesting features. The search and address bar is also in a different location. I'll do a quick search here for the New Orleans Saints and just open up a new tab. When you've opened a page, a tab bubble appears to the right of the browser. To open a new tab, click the plus sign and you can either put in another URL or do another search or you could click one of the saved sites listed below and it opened up a new tab. To close a tab, Click the X to the right of the top. To save a tab, click and drag it to the middle, and then let go. Now I'll show you some more features. Below the plus sign is the player icon, which allows you to play a video having the audio run in the background. So I'll play this video here. Got the audio muted. You can also pause the video from here by clicking on the push out icon you can have the video visible in a mini player no matter where you are in the browser. Below the player is the web clipper, which allows you to snap any part of a web page. So select it, drag an area, and then let go. And that automatically gets saved to your gallery, which is directly below the web clipper icon. Opera Neon is available on Windows and Mac. Now let's take a look at the Torch browser, released in 2012, which is another Chromium-based browser that can run extensions from the Chrome store. This is the ultimate entertainment browser. There are tons of features. It has a media grabber for downloading, streaming audio and video, a built-in torrent client. I'll pretend I have no idea what that is. 
a free music player called Torch Music, and there is Torch Games, where you can play games for free. All of the icons for these can be found at the top. Torch is only available on Windows operating systems, and it's obvious this browser is ad-supported, so if ads showing up periodically bothers you, you may want to skip this browser. Up next is the productivity-focused Ghost Browser. Unlike most browsers, it's built on a freemium model. The first time you launch it, it should notify you that a free premium trial has been activated. How this browser works is that it lets you create separate browser sessions inside the same window. This comes in handy if you manage multiple social media profiles to be able to log into any website with multiple accounts from the same window. This is a unique feature that I've yet to see any other browser do. After the trial, you can stick with the free version with limited functionality or for more features with pricing up to $15 per month. Ghost Browser is available for Windows and Mac. Right now, we'll take a look at the Advanced Browser, which was initially released in 2004. They offer a light and ultimate version for download. The light only includes an Internet Explorer rendering engine, while the ultimate version includes Internet Explorer, Chrome, and Firefox. I'll be demonstrating the ultimate with the Tricore rendering. Currently, the rendering engine is set to Chrome. To change the rendering engine, select the icon just to the right of the address bar, and then select whichever one you want. I'll change this to Firefox. It also has multi-processing, so if one tab crashes, it won't freeze the other tabs as well. And it has a video sniffer, which can detect videos on the web page you're browsing and lets you download them with just one click. Event Browser only works on Windows operating systems. Up next is the Pale Moon Browser. Released in 2009, it's based off of Firefox. It even has the look of an older version of Firefox. The menu is even in the upper left corner instead of the right. You can install many of the Firefox add-ons onto this browser. On their add-ons page, you have two options for sites to get add-ons. Pale Moons has been checked for compatibility, and Mozilla's may be compatible with Pale Moon. The Pale Moon browser is available on Windows, Linux, and Android. Last and definitely not least is the Vivaldi web browser. This Chromium-based browser was released in 2016, and it's compatible with extensions from the Chrome Web Store. I'm such a huge fan of this browser, I even created a video more than 10 minutes long back in April going over most of its features. Here's a few of its features. In the left sidebar, there's a note-taking app, and a sidebar to view another website that you can just drag out and drag in if you need to. In the lower bar, there's even a feature to capture web pages. Vivaldi is available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. That concludes this video. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful to you. Let me know in the comments what your favorite internet browser is and why. If you haven't done so already, click on that subscribe button and ring the bell for the latest in tech alternatives and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.